Hi there. Today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about um, what it's like to go through a chronic pain flare-up and how to survive it. So I actually recently had a really bad flare uh, in my upper back and neck and it was kind of unusually bad for me. I actually missed two days at work because I couldn't lift my head up. So this happened back in November and I remember feeling really, really bad about it. And you, you know, I, I started to kind of spiral into all these different thoughts, like, you know, what's wrong with me? Um, I, you know, I just beating up myself about the fact that I felt like I'd come so far. I'm a myofascial release therapist. I teach self-care. And then suddenly, like, this huge setback happened. Um, and I was having lunch with a friend of mine who I'd gone to massage school with. And she's also taken a couple myofascial classes. And I'm, like, gearing up for this sort of lunch with her and I'm going to tell her all about it and I've already told everyone all about it and I've been analyzing it. Maybe it was an upper limit problem. Maybe it was I was dehydrated. Maybe it was that I was sick and you know all these all these things going through my mind about why it was that this happened and um, then I watched a talk with Gabby Bernstein. If you don't know her she's a spiritual teacher and she had like a very similar story, except with her, it was a digestive issue. And based on what she said, I decided to not tell my friend, my massage therapist friend, who would have you know, n known exactly what to say and n known exactly what I was talking about with pain and everything and been a great person to talk to. I decided not to even mention it to her. So... I didn't say anything about what I was feeling with the pain when I met with her. We just caught up. We talked about our lives. And um, I have to say, it was that night right after seeing her that I started to feel better. And part of it was, I think, just the flare was running its course with me. If I get a lot of inflammation in my spine, it just takes a couple of days before it starts to die down. But part of it too was I decided to detach from that story. Um, so that is what I wanted to offer you today to think about next time you are having a big pain flare up or next time you're having the same relationship issue come up or next time whatever your pattern is comes up. Notice if you're being sucked into that story. Notice if you're kind of spiraling down into these worry thoughts, into these thoughts that are kind of rooted in a victim mentality, like, oh, woe is me. And it's not that you can't feel bad about what's happening. You're going to feel kind of frustrated. You're going to feel disappointment. You're going to feel all sorts of things. Um, but just pausing and saying, okay, I got that out. You know, I felt through all these different bad feelings about what's happening. Now I'm going to let go of this story. I'm going to detach from this spiral of pain where I feel pain. I feel pain about the fact that I feel pain. I feel anxious about the fact that I feel anxious. I feel shame about my shame. It's like this vicious cycle. So just stepping out of that cycle and deciding these are the steps I'm going to take. I know how to get through this. I know what things I need to do. I know I need to rest. I know I need to get some myofascial release treatments. I know I need to stop going to the gym for a few weeks. I know I need to drink more water. I know I need to drink less coffee. Like all of these things um, that we, we already know to do because we've been there before. And just do them and just be patient and just not not be obsessed obsessed with what's going on think about other things do other things go on with your life and just address the issue 
And uh, if you're having, you know, a pain flare for the first time, this is you're new to the rodeo. Uh, what I would say is to just try different things. I obviously am a big fan of myofascial release, but there's many different things out there, many different ways to listen to your body. I was talking about drinking less coffee, drinking more water, sometimes little adjustments like that that you kind of intuitively know you need to do are just perfect to get started with anyway. And you'll, you'll get to know your body, you'll get to know what helps and what doesn't help, and you'll know to do those things. So I just wanted to drop in and tell you guys that story and offer you a little bit of advice if you are going through a bad pain flare. Um, it, you know, it really stinks, it's not fun at all, but just sort of shifting your mindset away from becoming obsessed with the fact that you're in pain and just being more practical about what can you do to take the next steps and then continue on with your life instead of getting sucked down into that uh, that story, that victim mentality. All right, I hope that helps, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.